and leaves the stormy ear behind. President Fatah Hassisi held a meeting with the head of the Armed Forces Engineering Authority, Ahmed Al Azizi, and Presidential Advisor for Urban Planning, Amir Said Ahmed. Presidential Spokesperson Ambassador Bassem Rodi said that the head of state gave his directives to resume full cooperation among the state concerned bodies to add more reclaimed lands in Toshka, coinciding with modernizing irrigation systems suitable for the geographic nature of the area. Rodi added that the meeting followed up on the executive situation and pace of work in a number of national projects nationwide. Rodi noted that the present reviewed infrastructure required to support agricultural projects in Toshka, especially the water stations, water networks and irrigation lines, as well as agenda of future projects in the area. Regarding the construction projects, the meeting tackled the pace of work in the new administrative capital, especially strategic command center and the business district. The president was briefed on the development of the central markets in eastern Cairo, the pace of work in Al Amal city in addition to implement the utmost use of lands in Greater Cairo to introduce good quality services to the citizens. President Fatah Sisi exchanged cables of greetings with world leaders on the new year. In his cables, President Sisi wished that the new year would bring a better future in which all aspirations and hopes are fulfilled. On the occasion, the head of state called for uniting all efforts to overcome global challenges, to enable people to live in a world of stability, progress and prosperity. And on his social media pages, President Sisi was keen to greet Egyptian people on new year. Russia and Ukraine said they had freed more than 200 captured soldiers. The latest prisoner exchange between the two sides in the 10-month-old conflict. Details follow.